Good morning. It is March 18th, 2024. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day yesterday. I hope everyone had a good uh, St. Patty's Day weekend. Some good, clean American fun as uh, Coach Pat Fitzgerald, a fine Irish American, uh, used to say. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole uh, Pat Fitzgerald hazing. Well, that, that, that'll be for another day. Maybe in the fall when football season starts again, we'll We'll get into uh, we'll get into all of that. Um, good week this week. Uh, I competed over the weekend in a swimming meet in a pool swim meet um, at at Dynamo, uh, the Maria Thrash Memorial Meet, formerly the St. Patrick's Day Meet, which they've had for for many years there. It's a great great event. Um, Maria Thrash had been the longtime Masters coach at uh, at Dynamo. Um, I trained with Maria. Gosh, probably 2008 to about 2013 or so, and um, uh, then was was I had a job that uh, made uh, swimming a dynamo and swimming kind of in a more structured program a, a little bit difficult because of all the travel I was doing on business. Um, that gig ended uh, ended 2016, and I swam a little bit with Maria again. Uh, Maria passed away, I think. Uh, 2019, um, and she was a, a tough lady. She was a, a roughly my same age. She had been a good age group swimmer in Atlanta growing up, and then swam for Clemson University on the swim team there, and um, uh, became a, a, a really a world class triathlete um, in kind of the earlier days of, of triathlon. And um, but she battled her whole life uh, some uh, some sort of a, a genetic liver issue. Um, I, I'm not sure what the whole story was, but 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 you'd hear one day she'd be kind of at death's door in the hospital, and two weeks later she'd be out competing in a triathlon. And uh, uh, she was just a great, very nice. Um, uh, very uh, sort of down to earth coach and uh, uh, sort of uh, was 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 quite quite inspirational. I was I was lucky to have had the opportunity to know Maria. And so you know the uh, we there are two events at Dynamo every year. We do a 10,000 meter long course swim on um, a, a workout on um, uh, New Year's Eve starting at 4 a.m. and then, then gorge ourselves on pancakes afterwards. And then we do the Maria Memorial Swim at, at St. Patrick's Day. So this was the first um, pool swimming meet that I've swam in. I did a couple of open water races last year, but uh, this is the first pool swim meet that I've participated in uh, since I went to the national championships, the Masters Nationals in uh, May of 2022. So it'd been a couple of years. Um, and uh, I was I was uh, reasonably happy with uh, not not entirely but reasonably happy with my performance this weekend. I, I swam the uh, on Saturday I swam the 50 freestyle, which I hardly ever do because I'm just not very fast. Um, and then I swam the 200 freestyle, and the 50 I hadn't done in a in a competition probably in 10 years and. Uh, I actually was a tenth or so faster than I was 10 years ago, so that's uh, that speaks well for the the training that I've been doing. Um, given that age is not your friend in these in these uh, uh, as, a, as a master swimmer, uh, swam the 200 free. Um, I was uh, a little bit faster, about a second faster than I was in this race at nationals uh, two years ago, and I missed my sixth turn. I mean, not entirely, but I had a bad sixth turn. So I could have been even a little faster. Um, swam a really controlled race, and uh, you know I, I think it was it, it was really nice. Um, uh, I, I was 217, and I was uh, I think out in 33, 35 for the second 50, 35 for the third 50, and then 34 for the for the last 50. So um, a good controlled race. That's a, that's a that's a nice pace for me. Uh, felt smooth. Um, uh, so that was that was really nice. Um, then on um, Sunday, I swam the 500 free, uh, then I swam the 100 free and the 100 IM. Uh, my 500, I was a little disappointed with. Um, I got out a little bit too fast, um, and I wasn't able to hold the, uh, the um, sort of uh, splits that I wanted to hold, but I wasn't, I wasn't horrible. 
and, and I did, I, I, I needed to achieve a qualifying time for the Masters Nationals, which I did easily. So um, that, 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 was, uh, that was good. Uh, I have some work to do there, though, but it's, it's, uh, it's not, I don't, I don't think it's around my training so much as it's around learning pace. And, and again, that race I had not swum um, in, a, in a competition um, in uh, 13 years. And I wasn't even that much. I was only just a little bit slower than I was 13 years ago. So again, um, I feel like my training and uh, this this regime of a little bit more healthful life is 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 is, is helping me. Uh, 100 free was uh, again a little quicker than I was at nationals, uh, and uh, I was just uh, my nas uh, my nationals time actually didn't quite achieve the qualifying time for this year's nationals. And my time at the at the um, Maria meet did make that. So whether I swim the hundred free at nationals or not, which is in June, is is an open question. But at least it's a it's an option for me. And then swam the hundred IM at the end of the day. It had been a fair you know with the 500 and the hundred. That's a fairly long day of uh, of racing. And I was very very pleased with my hundred IM. Um, I was uh, a second and a half faster than I'd been at nationals. Actually, uh, this was the fastest 100 IM. And that's a race that, to the extent I do pool meets, I typically do the 100 IM. So I'm, you know, I've got, a, I've got a, a history of that. And this is the fastest I've been in seven years, actually. So, uh, you know, making, making some progress. And, you know, if you're going faster than you did seven years ago, that means probably you're doing something right in your training because, uh, you know, I, I don't want, I don't want, folks to have the impression that I wasn't training well before because I was swimming pretty well and, you know, pretty diligently before. So I think what I'm doing now, and again, I'm, I'm very focused on um, making sure that I'm consuming enough protein, number one. Number two, I've uh, eliminated alcohol from my life, um, at least for the time being. Um, and, and, and number three, I'm doing, um, I'm doing some strength training, um, sort of a once a week, uh, strength training session with a, uh, with a, uh, a, a trainer. And so, uh, you know, it's, uh, really three months into this regime and, uh, I think it's, I think it's showing some good, some good progress. So again, pleased with that. It's fun to get out there. Saw some people that I hadn't seen in a couple of years. Um, and it's, it's, it's fun to get out and race. Um, you know, it's, whether you perform as well as you'd like, or whether you, you have some some work to do, it, it's it's really nice to be able to get out there and and and, and compete. So uh, so I did enjoy that. There was uh, I, I was first place in my age group in the 500, the 100 free, and uh, I think second place in my age group in the 100 IM, um, the 200 free, and uh, fourth in the 50 because. I, I don't have a lot of fast twitch fibers. Maybe the maybe the weight training will help reawaken those those guys. Um, was uh, sort of the other notable things from the uh, from the meet. I, I wore my tech suit, my three hundred dollar um, TYR suit that I bought at at nationals. Um, it was awfully hard to go past that uh, swimoutlet.com tent at nationals without buying one of those bad boys. Um, you know, it's 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 funny the the, the world of athletic equipment. Um, you know, we, we we riffed a little a couple of weeks ago about you know regular flowers being 50 bucks, but wedding flowers being a thousand bucks or whatever it was. You know, the uh, you you can buy a bathing suit for you know 15 bucks, but if you want to get a competition bathing suit, the same as you know Bobby Fink wears, it's uh, it's 300 bucks for you know these are these are the tech suits are the ones that you wear in competition. Um, not in not in training, and and it really goes back. Uh, there was a period of time from about 2005 to 2008 or 9 when when the FINA, the governing body of international swimming, made them illegal. Uh, that there were these uh, basically polyurethane-ish uh, bathing suits, and and guys were, were uh, that the people were wearing and, and achieving, you know, world record times that that seemed to be unbeatable and the, the, the suits were made illegal in, in uh, 2009. So these are the less, po I mean, they're, 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 they're better than the training suits that you wear, but they, they conform to the, to the, to the standards of not unfair advantage or some such thing. 
but um, I think all but maybe one or two of the world records that were set using the tech suits of the, the illegal era have now been broken um, and, and people thought that it would be years and years before that happened, although it has been years and years. But uh, swimming keeps evolving. Uh, the tech suits um, the, of, of today really, I, I don't know how much they help you, but, but you feel like they're going to help you. You do feel smooth in the water, that's for sure. But it's uh, you know just like the guy that buys the uh, $1,000 golf driver, he isn't going to hit the ball like Tiger Woods. and. Uh, I was wearing my tech suit like Bobby Fink on Saturday and Sunday, but I, I didn't swim like Bobby Fink. Uh, Bobby is the American record holder in the 800 and, and 1500 meter freeze. He's, he's the guy that uh, was third or fourth place in the 1500 in the Olympics uh, with 100 meters left and just smoked everyone on the last 100 to win the gold medal. It was quite, quite inspiring. So, um, you know, it's funny though about the whole athletic performance and um, and you know how much you spend on on the equipment. Uh, there are some sports, scuba diving, for example. Uh, there are wetsuit people, you know, folks that have the latest and greatest wetsuit and uh, you know dive computer and uh, you know. And then there are t-shirt people. I'm, I'm more of a t-shirt person. And you go down in a t-shirt and you know you, you uh, of course you're swimming three or four miles a day, whereas the guy with the fancy equipment usually isn't swimming three or four miles a day. So we finish the dive and he's got 700 pounds of air left and I've got 1,400 and how did you do that with a t-shirt on? No. Anyway, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, I, I am a bit of a swim geek though and uh, you know, for 300 bucks I'll take my tech suit and, and wear it in competitions. So, um, again, uh, fairly happy with, uh, with, with where we were this week. Um, you know, back this morning to a uh, full uh, workout. I, uh, last week, I, I swam every day. Um, I didn't do weight training, but I, I was at a, at a reduced yardage level. Um, so it was a, I, I call a mini taper, not a full taper for this, for this meet. I, I will do a full taper uh, for Masters Nationals, and I'll shave and all that. Um, uh, uh, swimmers shave all their body hair off before a big competition, um, and I'm not a real hairy guy anyway. But it's not so much the drag from the hair; it's it's when you shave off the hair, you wind up with um, taking off dead skin cells. And when you get in the water in that uh, in that mode, you just feel fast. And so it's it's I think the shaving is more psychological than anything else. So I, I didn't shave for the Dynamo meet, for the Maria meet, but uh, but I will for nationals. Um, and the taper will be a lot more extensive. So I've got probably um, three months now before Masters Nationals. So I'm gonna do really a two month, really, really serious block of training and then begin to uh, begin to, to, uh, to, to, to taper there. Um, the, as, as an older person, you probably need to taper for longer. Um, than, than we did when we were younger. Um, and I'll be reading and, and, and looking into the philosophy of the taper, I think, quite a bit over the next um, over the next month, month and a half to, to make my plan. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to swim at, at Nationals yet. Um, we'll, uh, uh, I have a lot of options. I definitely will be swimming the 500 again. I'll swim the mile. Um, my, my, my grand goal is to get in the top 10 in the nationals in a, in a, in a race. I, I nearly did that two years ago in the mile. I was 11th. I was 15th in the 200 IM. Uh, I'll be swimming the 200 IM again. Um, I was 20th in the 200. I, I think I've got a chance to, uh, to get down and improve that a little bit. So, uh, you know, it, we'll, we'll see what happens. So this was a... Uh, Thank you for, for listening to my, my geeked out uh, description of my, my swimming for the, for, the, for the competition. It was certainly, um, uh, I'm really happy with where the training is and, and continue to believe that um, um, having kind of uh, this no alcohol is, uh, is really, really helping, uh, helping the training, helping my sleep, helping recovery, um, helping to limit inflammation. Um, and so, you know, these are all things, uh, as we go into nationals, I think, which are, which are really, really positive. Um, once we finish with the nationals, uh, I'll be shifting my training focus away from these, uh, pool races and begin in earnest, 
uh, open water training. We have uh, we have the Big Shoulders 5K swim in Lake Michigan in September, and then um, and then the St. Croix five mile race in the ocean in uh, November. And this will be a great segue into beginning uh, the training, hopefully for Catalina for the summer of 2025 um, and and the Channel 2026. So. Anyway, that's a, a download on my week and uh, the, the, the training and where we are. Um, please, I, I, I would encourage you, if you can, to subscribe to this vlog um, and uh, have a great week. Thank you very much.